you for still being here and I hope you found some inspiration. If you are curious where some of the items came from or how I transformed them, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's just jump right on in. I'm going to start with the peace lily, which is right here at the entrance when you come in. And this gorgeous planter came from at home, as well as the rolling plant stand, which I spray painted in a pink champagne to match the rest of the decor. These accent chairs definitely needed a makeover to fit into this space. They are small in size, which is one of the reasons I have kept them. And they were only $5 each. I purchased them over 15 years ago from Sears when they were closing the store. So I decided to give them another makeover until it is time for something else. I decided to adorn the back with a string of silver pearls and I covered the nail heads with rhinestones and gave it a stripe effect. These adorable birds were a great find at Tuesday morning. The large one was $14.99 and the smaller one was $9.99. I love this orchid from Burlington. These soft pastel pink and white colors complement this room beautifully. The container it came in received a makeover as well with some white spray paint and gold metallic paint to blend right in. Diamonds are a girl's best friend and so are high heel pumps, a Christmas ornament from Hobby Lobby. Kirklands is not exactly known for French decor, but they definitely knocked it out of the park with this one. It is such a beautiful addition to this room and a little bit of gold spray paint went a long way as the colors that they offered did not exactly appeal to me. This palm leaf wall scone candle holder is a fun reminder of my past love for tropical design. With some added mirror trim and metallic silver spray paint it fits right into this space. It was another great find from Kirkland's many, many years ago for only $20. This gold adorable accent table came from Overstock.com and it adds a lot of charm to this room. It was $65 I believe and because some of the table in the middle was not painted, it was still black, I got a $15 discount and spray painted it myself. These pink velvet curtains from Ikea were the perfect addition to this room and are adding a lot of coziness and texture. I shared the before picture with you of this lamp in the video. As you can see it received a makeover as well. The base was painted white, it was a dark brown. A coat of gold metallic paint went on the middle and then a fur trim on the shade and a Christmas ornament as a tassel. The reason I kept this lamp and it's been here for years and years is because of the shade. I love the shape of it and I love the design in the shade. I really haven't seen that anywhere else. This lamp came from Kirkland's. It was $89 years ago. And I used to love Kirkland's because they had some really unique and different accent pieces. However, they've changed their style since, so I don't shop there as often. Overstock.com had this beautiful faux cowhide rug available. It is a 6x8. It is called Bryce Silver Stone. And it's a beautiful accent in here. It has the silver speckles, flecks metallic silver all over the rug and it allows me to roll around with my office chair on the polished tile that we installed here as well. I didn't want a square rug or anything like that. I think this is absolutely perfect just to kind of bring some warmth and coziness into the space. This desk gave me quite the headache when first designing this space due to its brownish red color. I really couldn't decide if I wanted to sell it or keep it and I searched on Marketplace forever but I really couldn't find anything so I just decided to go ahead and give it a makeover and make it a little bit more traditional but still glam. I am so glad that I did because I think it turned out beautifully. 
I love the large glass work surface and it adds a touch of modern and also visually takes up less space. This gorgeous wallpaper came from AliExpress. It was around $8 a yard and all I did is wrapped it around this column and then I finished it off with some trim from Amazon at the top and the bottom. This part of the desk received a fresh coat of paint to match the rest of the decor in the room and then also this trim piece uh, adds a little bit more traditional flair to the overall modern feel of the desk. The knobs for the drawers were quite ugly so I decided to replace them with these gorgeous glass knobs. IKEA to the rescue again with this beautiful unit called Calax which houses all of my tools and DIY supplies. It comes in gloss and matte and I decided to go with the gloss for that extra glam. I thought it would be fun to decorate this unit on two shelves with some really French romantic designs. And this is what I came up with. The mirrored bottle came from at home and I printed out a sign that says number 5 Chanel and just glued it on. And then the pink accent on the bottle came from a crown from Dollar Tree. I just cut it into pieces and made it fit. Again, the pump is a Christmas ornament from Hobby Lobby. The container for the flowers is from Burlington and the flowers came from Hobby Lobby. What would a French design be without the Eiffel Tower? And is this chandelier not absolutely adorable? It came from at home, it was a Christmas ornament as well, and so is the pump and the Eiffel Tower. The tray was a great find at Ross for $10. I found these really elegant bins at Walmart for $10 each and what was so appealing about them that they have this silver thread going through them. I think you can see this better in the actual preview. This lamp is another unique piece that I've held on to for years. It also received a makeover. It was black in color and with a neutral shade. So I spray painted the shade gold and then the metal has three parts to it. I spray painted the outsides gold and then the middle white just to make it look more interesting. And then at the bottom the base received some gold washi tape to give it a little bit more of a design. These mirrored gold and acrylic accent tables came from Ross. They were such a great find. The smaller table was $27.99 and the larger table was $29.99. Many of you have probably already seen this picture at Hobby Lobby. It was purchased at 50% off and then dressed up with a flower and some rhinestones as a necklace. Although Audrey Hepburn was not French, she was definitely a fashion icon and I thought she would make a beautiful addition into this space. The poster was purchased at AliExpress for just a few dollars and the frame came from Ikea. I use this pink chair, a great find from Burlington when I do my crafts and it has these beautiful little silver sparkles in it. It was only $50, but the back was not very appealing because the silver bars went up on the back. So I decided to cover it with some material from Hobby Lobby and then embellish it further. Another Burlington find for $3.99. I just simply added some tool and some more of the silver pearl string. Have you ever gone to a storage facility warehouse sale? That is where this desk came from. It retailed for over $300 online and I got it at an awesome price of $75. Ross has such beautiful decor items and when you see something you like, you better get it because you may not see it again. These mirrored picture frames were only $10 each and the flowers from Hobby Lobby complete the look. 
There is nothing that some mirrors and a little silver sparkle cannot fix. This was an easy DIY for a vase that I've already owned. This romantic picture frame in pink and gold came from Burlington for only $6.99. Now I just have to find the perfect memory to fill it with. This leaf bowl bird feeder from Ross for only $4.99 was also transformed by adding some silver spray paint and making these little birds gorgeous in a gold metallic paint. As you can see, I keep my paper clips in here. You may have seen this item at Hobby Lobby before and I thought it was so cute I brought it home. It is perfect for those cold days and you need a hot cup of tea or coffee. They also nestle beautifully together. You may not know this about me, but I'm in love with cats. Well, I love all animals in general, but cats are close to my heart. I love the real ones. I have four fur babies, and I also like the decorative ones. This little cutie was only $14.99 from Home Goods. This is such a decorative and functional item that many of us have seen in Ross, Burlington and other places. It also comes in many different colors. I love the white and gold to fit into this space and I keep my remote in here, my ceiling fan remote. Another beautiful romantic and feminine touch is this gorgeous little vase from Hobby Lobby and these flowers from Michaels. Inexpensive decor items can make such a huge difference in your everyday decor. All three pieces were only $30 and came from Tuesday morning, Ross and Burlington. I simply couldn't resist this unique trash can with claw feet from Home Goods. I think it was only $12.99 or $14.99. Unfortunately, I don't have a Home Goods in my area, so I'm always very happy to find some really unique and different items. My original plan was to replace the existing ceiling fan with a beautiful crystal chandelier. However, this room is facing west and it gets very hot during the summer. So I decided to spiff up the existing ceiling fan with some silver contact paper on the blades as well as some mirror edges on the globe and the blades. And then I embellished the glass globe with silver bead strings. It is beautiful during the day, but also gives off a really cool effect when the light is on at night. If you are still here, I want to thank you and I hope it means that you've enjoyed this tour and received ideas and inspiration from it. My intent was to create a glam, feminine and romantic space that I can surround myself with while working. I think I have achieved that, but what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below if you agree and what was your favorite design element. If you found value and inspiration, please hit that like button. Thank you for supporting my channel, all of you beautiful souls. Take care and I'll see you soon in another video.